Welcome to my videos. So guys, today in this video, we are going to walk through how to apply a work permit to Canada when you have uh, an approved LMIA supported job offer from an employer. Before I proceed further, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please go and subscribe right now. And also I would like to clarify, neither I am an immigration consultant nor I am a government body. So if you take anything out of this video, do it at your own risk. All right, guys, so let's proceed. So guys, in front of you, I have opened this Canadian government website. And here for uh, foreign workers, there is a section uh, where you have various options. Find out if you need a work permit, get a work permit. So I'll uh, click on this. Find out if you need a work permit. I click on find out what you need. What option best risk? I'm the main or principal applicant. One family, I'm an immediate family. No, OK, fine. Let's say you are the person who has got a job offer, so you follow that. But you need to answer this wizard as per your case so that this system redirects you to do the correct option. Are you Ukrainian national? Let's say no. Let's say you are an Indian national. Choose the following best district. I have applied or will apply for consultant very soon. I applied for refugee protection in Canada. I am uh, under a monitor, but can't work for Canada. I am on a 10% permit holder. Other. Next. OK, uh, you any of the following youth age 18 interest in travel and person international student Canada, recent graduate of a Canadian designated learning institution, recent graduate from Hong Kong. I select no. Choose option that best describes you or your work. Business person, teaching or researching university, working in a medical field, working under an agreement, exchange or reciprocal employment, working in sports, skilled worker, foreign government, military, special train. So let's say skilled worker. Choose the option in short term, high skilled worker, short term researcher, or worker being hired in program pilot, Quebec selection certificate holder, professional working under trade ag agreement. I select other. So that means you need a work permit. OK. Based on this, uh, based on the answers that we have provided, you may be eligible for an employer specific work permit. Your employer must get a positive LMIA before you submit your application. So let's say your employer has already got. OK. All right. Find out how to apply. OK. So where are you applying from? Let's say you're applying from outside Canada. To get the forms, you need to uh, tell us how are you applying and where you're applying from. OK. So now, uh, now we have been redirected to application to work in Canada. Apply online. You must apply online for a work permit uh, unless you are eligible. Like if you have some disability, then I said it online. Where are you applying from now your country? So I assume India, but you need to do as per your case. OK. So online application, they have given instruction guide. Visa office requirements for applicant from India, valid credit and debit card. So this is very important. OK. All links are very important. This is for Bangalore, Chandigarh, New Delhi. OK, what are things wrong? So this is the checklist for work permit. OK, any document not in English, period submit all documents. OK, applying online. No courier fee, OK. Original valid passport and photocopy of, of bio data, including all cancelled or expired, but to passport if applicable should be valid for additional supporting document, proof of education, proof of work experience, copies of appointment letter, relieving letter, salary slip form 16, proof of personal fund, including tax return, background inform schedule one, OK. Complete signed schedule one. OK, copies of marriage certificate, child birth certificate, family information form. Fully complete signed and dated. OK, 
so we know what are the things we need now marriage certificate and the childbirth if applicable family information form definitely we have to now we know the checklist so this can vary based on nationalities because if you see form 16 you get this in india right this one so similarly based on your location there could be something else okay all right so uh, you can always use instruction guide apologize huh. i should have opened it in a different page but it's okay india so now instruction guide is very important we'll just quickly walk through and then we'll go through the application pack package also uh, gather document mostly we have read okay okay lmia document of course you will need offer of employment okay work permit when should i apply okay am i eligible okay these things we have already covered now documents gather document checklist 5488 okay let's see what is this okay outside canada so this form 1295 family information 5707 statutory declaration if applicable representative you have to authority personal information if applicable document list photocopy two copies of okay document check proof of current immigration status if okay if applicable photocopy of marriage license or certificate proof including your meet the requirement of job being offered a lot of people have question but generally for it job like even i had to go through this uh, lmia it used to be called lmo during those days labor market opinion and based on the cv and other documents i got from employer i was easily uh, through this if your employer obtained lmia provide that okay if you are working in pro quebec with lmia okay quebec acceptance certificate so we'll assume not quebec so we'll not go through that provincial nominee not applicable okay if you are applying for post okay not for anything any additional document required by the uh, responsible visa office that we had seen already fine checklist we know proof of employment proof of relationship other documents okay complete the application 1295 checklist family information statutory declaration this may or may not be applicable be complete and accurate okay fine so you need to answer these questions as per you will go through the form no doubt and then at the end we will be uploading for online applications you don't need to physically sign these forms okay you can go through this i don't have to walk you through this but let's go through here so we'll click create a account or sign ircc secure account okay calculate gc key okay now username and password so you need to log in and then you can apply i'm going to log in i'm going to show you now it is going to uh, look for my uh, like terms condition so i click on accept so so after coming here i'm going to click on apply to come to canada personal checklist so uh, like i did not create one that's why uh, i have not completed like a complete uh, come to canada wizard or maybe i have lost the, that i did not but it's okay we can go through this wizard again determine eligibility and apply online i'll go through this what would you like to do in canada i select work how long you are planning to stay in canada let's say for 2 years 
code that matches your passport india what is your current country country of residence i select india do you have family of currency past resident i select no date of birth so you need to enter as per your case don't do what i am doing so i'll just put let's say 1996 okay month this is good day go next are you a lawful permanent resident of usa i select uh, no you have a job offer uh, and my employer gave me an offer for employment or lmia number so i select yes like let's uh, like you are have you have an lmia supported what is the status of your job offer temper let's say 2 years You, do you plan to work in any of the follow, following work permit exam categories athletes aviation accident i assume uh, no because this high skill is for 30 days or uh, less or researchers for okay no so required as is no will we come come to canada under an active policy or special measure i select no are you a spouse common law partner dependent person who who has or is applying for a work permit i select no have you recently graduated from a participating canadian post secondary education uh, institution i select no it is generally for students those who apply for post graduate work permit are you spouse or common law partner of a person who holds a study permit i select no but you know what this is a very excellent link where you can go ahead and uh, check like after decent study permit changes anyway i won't cover that in this video what is the matter sir let's say this guy is single what is the province or territory of destination i select ontario you need to select as per your case your uh, result okay so now you are going to continue create your checklist You have valid work permit status and need a visa to return to Canada. Let's say no. So, what type of work permit do you want to apply for? Let's say with LMI supported. Did uh, Employment and Social Development Canada issue your employer assessment on the Global Talent Screen? I said it no. Not on the Global Talent Screen. Does it indicate you must become a member of professional association in Canada? I select no. You do as per your case. Are you accompanying a family member who that has a status in Canada or has recently been approved to come to Canada? I select no. Have you ever committed or been arrested or charged with convicted or any criminal offence in any country? I select no. Have you had a medical exam performed by an IRCC authorized finance physician within last twelve months? I select no, but if you have definitely got that information, have you visited or lived in any of the designated countries for six consecutive months in last year? Now you have a link here. Not sure if it still opens. Yeah, list of designated countries. Oh no, cancel. I'll do one thing. Open in a new tab. I just say uh, cancel. But anyway, you you can look that list. I select yes. Then you need to get a medical exam performed. Okay. You may continue the application. We will contact you if you need medical. Yeah. You want to submit application for a family member? I select no. Will you give grant somebody access to your application? I select no. In the past ten years, have you given your fingerprints and photo for an application to come to Canada? I select no. But if you have done definitely, that will save you from biometrics. 
there are fee associated with this application. Will you paying the fee or fee or 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 are you fee visa fee exempt? Why I will not pay the fee? Uh -huh. I select yes. I able to make a digital copy. Yes, that is why you are applying online. Paying your visa fee online. Yeah. Here you can review your answers and if anything is required to be changed, click on this and change the answer. Continue. OK. And then come here, click on continue. Document checklist is there. So. This 1295 is required and these are supporting documents. Employment reference letter, LMIA, passport, employment record, CV, Digital photo request for medical exam. Required. Employment contract, family information form, proof that you meet the requirements of the job being offered. OK, and they all have got a help link. OK, where you can find out what it is. Employment contract. You can just and like what are the things that need to be included? It's all already here. Make sure you understand that. And uh, see the fee is also populated here. So once you upload documents in all the mandatory slots like supporting documents and application form, definitely it will appear. And they have also asked you to fill up this uh, schedule one. Five to five seven and client information. So this is an op opportunity for you like an explanation letter or something where you want to explain something to the visa officer. You have an ex uh, you have an excellent opportunity to do that and that you can do over here. OK. So for this case, like I don't have to walk you through this. Uh, we'll uh, five, six, four, five and this one we will see. But first let's go through one, two, nine, five. I knew something like this would happen, but I'll handle this. I'll open this in Adobe. OK, so now we are here with this form. So. You see a unique light identifier if you have what already provide if like if you have ever applied to IRCC for any application in the past, you'll have this. If you don't have just forget it because then they will generate it. Service you need to enter as per your case because whatever information I'm putting in this is sample only and neither I'm an immigration consultant nor I'm a government body. So if you take anything out of this video, do it at your own risk. All right, guys. So guys, uh, another thing that I'm doing here is like sample case. So LMI supported. So let's fill up according to that. Full name. Let's say there's an Indian citizen who has got. Uh, a job offer that is supported by uh and lmis so is filling up have you ever used in any nickname in past i select no date of birth a very good uh important thing i would say like during the wizard if you have entered any date of birth and if that does not match this date most probably it's gonna uh fail you like system will not accept the file so make sure that uh those dates match citizenship Current country. Status. Citizen I selected. Previous country or territory. During past five years, have you lived in any country or territory other than your current country of uh, residence or uh, citizenship? I select no, but if you have definitely provided that information. Country or territory, we are applying. Same where you are living, yes. The matter status, I select single. Have you previously been married or in a common relationship? No, I select languages, native language. Because the guy is from India, let's say his native language is Hindi. Are you able to communicate in English or French? I select English. Have you taken a test from designated language authority? I select no. 
passport make sure you write it very clearly and verify at least two times not just one before you submit everything issue date For this, we will use passport issued by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Taiwan. So these things are already disabled. Or if you use an Israeli national, already disabled. Do you have a national identity document? So when I had applied it for the first time I, from India, I had used my uh, Indian PAN card and it was accepted. And I had included that information in my letter of explanation too, and it went through. But like for the purpose of this sample video, I'm doing no. But you can definitely do it, yes, if your country does provide. And when it comes to India nowadays, they have like Aadhaar card and, and other documents too. US pre PR card. Are you a lawful green card holder of US? I said it no. If you're submitting by mail, all correspondence go to this mail address. Okay. Indicating an email address will authorize to all correspondence. Okay. Current mailing address. I'm just putting some sample. You do it as per properly your case. Your address, you know better than me, so I don't have to tell you. There could be minor typos too in your application. That's why guys, after you are done, uh, make sure you do it very like careful revalidation. And anything you think is not correct, like you change it. You can save this form and you can upload same as mailing address i select uh, yes telephone number can is other because the applicant is from india so i select other let's say he has a cellular number diamond and i'll put some information email address do it very carefully you should never do a typo here it's not something convenient which type of work permit are you applying for? So I select this one. Details of the prospective employer attach original offer. Okay, so this will go in checklist name of employer. Complete address of employer. Broad proper information. This is sample that I'm doing. Intended location. So I select uh, Ontario uh, City. Address, do proper address. This address is very important. My occupation kind of will be job title. So I'll just say IT developer. Brief description or duties, write very properly and nicely. Okay, this is just sample. That's why I'm doing this, but write very nicely. Date of expected employment. So let's say he has been offered two years of job. Uh, beginning uh, August 1st, 2024 to 26 August 1st, okay. LMIA number or offer of employment exam number. Okay, it should be must not be greater than Okay, so six digits. Okay. Do this and let's do Okay. Uh, education. Have you had any post secondary education through university? I said it, yes. So, college or apprentice, provide that information. Like I'm just doing, let's say, 1995 one. So typically in India, you go in 18 years, 10 plus 2, so or 17, 2. It depends on your date of birth also. So 1976, so 17 or 18 years when it will come. Uh, here, 4, uh, 
then uh, I mean uh, uh, I need to do some calculation for okay and then 17 if I consider 4 and then 10 and then uh, 2014 or now 2013 I'm just putting this you do as per your case Field or level of study, so I just say IT. Or you know what you can do? Bachelors of IT. I'm sorry. No, sorry. School where wherever you have studied. No, who forgets their school? I I don't. New Delhi IT College. Yes, sample guys. City town. I just put in your Delhi. Country. Okay, employment. Give the details of your employment for ten years, including. If you had any government position such as civil servant, person member, parliament, hospital administrator, so you can definitely uh, do this. It's very simple. See, for the first one, that is the current one. From it's uh, is mandatory. Others not. Okay. So provide that information. This uh, section about uh, employment. So this is for past 10 years. If you're not working, you need to provide that information. Do not leave any gap. Uh, if you were studying, that also you need to enter. OK. And if you're retired, then like for past 10 years before your retirement, you need to provide that information. So like in this case, uh, like 2014, July, uh, April to June, April, May, I need to enter. Then from June 2014 to 2018, I have. And after that, the guy was doing any job. That also be, start with the most recent one. OK, like the current activity and then do you do. I'm leaving it because it's sample video, but you know how to fill it up. And I explained the current one you hear and then all others in the same order go down. Background with the past two years, have you found a member at tuberculosis? I select no. Any physical mental uh, disorder remained beyond your validity, refused visa permit, applied to enter Canada, remain in Canada. I select no. Committed arrested for crime. So you, you need to understand this very carefully and then you do. Would, would do you consent to be contacted by IRCC? I select yes. Date you can select here. Signature, let me see. I, I can type. Yeah, you can type also because it's online application. So you don't have to sign now. Later on, like you do the signature electronically. But when you do it on paper, you, so you can save and upload in the slot. Now I'll take you to the next uh, form. So uh, I've come back to the checklist. Family information 5645. OK. But if I remember well, when I was looking at that checklist, we were asked to do 5707, right? Let's see. I'm going to the checklist again. What form they have asked us to fill up? 5707. Wow. So what's the difference? You see. This is the new version of the form and this is the old one. So now it's definitely a confusion like at one place it says something is another place. So what I'll do, I'll upload both and I'll explain that in my letter of explanation. Now I won't walk you through this because I have already shown you how to do this in different video. So for 5707, so I'll uh, uh, put the link in the description. You can read that one. OK, let me see the schedule one and then we'll take it up from there. 
here in, in this schedule one form. Indicate whether your principal applicant you need to fill up as per your case. Don't see what I'm doing. And if you take anything out of this video, do that here also because neither I'm an immigration person nor I'm a government body. OK, so the principal applicant is a spouse, common law partner and all dependent children 18 years of age or older. They need to do. OK, full name, so I'll just put some. Uh, I'll just put as per our sample case. Smart. John. Date of birth. Do it as per your case, not what you were, uh, not what you see here. British, sir, did you ever serve in military militia? I select no. Did you ever witness a particular ill treatment of prisoners or civilian? I select no. Membership as an organization? I select no. Which kind of membership? See, they have given political party, other group or nation that has engaged or advocated violence. Government position, if you have held any government position, which kind of position? This also. I select now previous travel since the age of 18 or during past five years, whichever is more recent. Have you ever traveled to any country or territory other than the country of your citizenship or your current? I select no, but if you have done, definitely provide that information. Privacy notice validated. So it's very simple form. And this does not generate code, so you can do this and then you can. Uh, upload this form. So let me go back to the login area. Yeah. Uh, you can uh, upload all the required files and then at the end just pay for it. I mean this button next will be enabled after you fill up the mandatory documents and uh, application forms and then you can pay and then it's going to end the processing and if things go well, you will get the visa. Thanks for watching this video guys. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.